Welcome into another 1031 Disc Golf video. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new Zone OS. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna be reviewing the new Zone OS, which is the oversta more overstable version of the Zone. And for, by first feel of it, I can feel that it's a tad bit deeper than the normal Zone. I'm also gonna be comparing this to a couple other molds. I'm gonna be comparing it to just the stock Z run of the Zone, an ESP run, the Dynamic Discs Justice, and the Legacy Discs Badger. I haven't thrown this thing at all yet, so this is my first reaction. Like I said, it is deeper, so on backhand, it actually feels really good, but on forehand, I don't know how I feel about it yet. That, the depthness of it isn't super comfortable. That did not come out flat, but as you could tell, that thing just wanted to get to the ground. It just went out and just dumped. I'm gonna throw this Justice. This is what I have in my bag currently, so maybe the Zone, maybe the Zone OS will replace it, but let's see how this thing flies on back end. By that flight, it looked kind of similar, honestly. Let's check out now just the normal stock Z1. See how that lines up with it. The Z1 definitely stayed in the air longer. It held straight a little longer and it looked like it had more glide to it. Probably because it doesn't, it's not as overstable. Let's go with the ESP one. As I would expect with that one, it's even less understable than the rest of them. So let's go with the Badger. Some more flight. Okay, for the next throw here, I'm just gonna do a Anheuser backhand, just put a flex line on it. Let's just see how fast this comes out of it. Not a ton of Anheuser, but as you saw, it just dumped right out. I think the stability of this is gonna compare most to the Justice and the Badger, so you guys know how the normal zones fly by now. It's just a little less overstable. So let's go with the Justice on flex back in. A lot of Anheuser on that one. I don't think that's as overstable as the Zone OS though. Let's try this Badger. There you go, that had a nice fight. So after throwing the Zone OS backhand, it's really just a very overstable approach disc. I would, I would rank in stability close to the, to the Justice. I would say it's a little more overstable and it's definitely deeper. So let's try it out it's on forehands now. I'm just gonna put this on Heiser. I'm gonna do like a spike Heiser. Didn't give it any height, which that flew about how I thought. Yeah, about what I expect. All right, I'm just gonna do one more throw with that. I'm gonna do a flex forehand, and then I'll give you guys my final review. There we go. You'll really see the stability on that one. My final review of the Zone OS, it has, I would say it's definitely very overstable. On forehand, it does not feel good for me with the extra depth, but on backhand, it does kind of feel good, but I would probably never throw it backhand just because it's so overstable. And yeah, I would relate the stability to a little more overstable than the Justice. I personally have the Justice in my bag for pretty much forehands only, and that's a little bit more shallow. I like it for forehand but 
Yep, there's the Zone OS. Thanks for watching. Now on to the verse of the day. Today's verse of the day comes out of Luke chapter 12, verse 38, which says, He may come in the middle of the night or just before dawn, but whenever he comes, he will reward the servants who are ready. We don't know when Christ is coming back, but we should always be ready for when he does come back. Stop making excuses about your relationship with Christ. It doesn't matter how old you are or what season of life you're in. We should always be ready for when he returns. Thanks for watching 1031 Disc Golf.